yesterday we were discussing about reflection from the mirror hmm? so what we are going to discuss today right now is the focus of a concave mirror hmm? we have seen that when light comes parallel to the principal axis after reflection it passes through the focus this is the pole this is the center of curvature and the line joining these two is called principal axis anyway coming parallel to the principal axis after reflection it passes through a point on the principal axis you can take this or you may take the another ray it also passes through one point on the principal axis the point where all the incident rays coming parallel to the principal axis after reflection meets that point is known as focus or focal point and the distance between this point and p is known as f where f is the focal length of the mirror so it is in case of concave mirror so how will you define the focus of a concave mirror so we all the parallel rays coming parallel to the principal axis after reflection from the mirror meet at a point on the principal axis that point is known as focal point or focus of the concave mirror okay yes and the distance between this focus and the pole is known as focal okay. length clear yes sir now what in case of convex mirror you see if we consider the convex mirror this is the principal axis yes sir this is the incident ray yes. so what we are going to do is you see this is the reflecting surface yes sir after incidence it gets reflected in the direction you see it gets reflected in this direction when it is extended backward it appears to meet at one particular point it appears to meet at this particular point you see actually it is not meeting at this particular point it appears to come from this point when seen from this side when you place your eye in this side you will see that the light is coming from this point so this point this virtual point is known as focal point that is f once again you see you take another example another ray and you will see that it will move in this direction so this point is known as focal point in case of convex mirror how will you define it you see all the rays coming parallel to the principal axis after reflection from the mirror it appears to diverge from it appears to diverge from one particular point okay yes. it appears to come from one particular point the reflected ray appears to come from one particular point and that particular point is known as principal focus that is the focus 
Okay? Yes, sir. So, this is P and this is F. In between these two, whatever the distance is there, this distance is known as focus. So, in case you are just given, define focus of a mirror. In that situation, what will you say? You see, this is in the case of convex. So, what will you say? You see, all the rays coming parallel to the principal axis after reflection from the mirror either meet at a point on the principal axis or they appear to come from one particular point on the principal axis then that point is known as focus. focus. So the first is the case of concave mirror, second is the case of convex mirror. After this, we will study the sign convention. Sign convention means which direction we have to take positive and which direction we have to take negative. Here, we will see that the focal length, this focal length of concave mirror is you see negative and this side it is positive. positive. Why? I will tell you. Okay? Yes sir. Now this is the concave mirror and this is the convex mirror and this is the focal length. Now we will find right now the position of images formed by concave and convex mirrors when object is placed before the mirror. Okay? Now we will see. 